Let's make some noise for both competitors, Benny Boy yeah. and Chris Martin. Yeah. So if you fine fellas are ready to throw down, we'll decide this in rock, paper, scissors after three. One, two, three. Smooth, smooth, smooth. Oh, you go. Uh, 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 I'll go, I'll go first. Uh, first. Make some noise for Benny Boy! Alright, let's kick this puppy in the guts. <laughs> and everyone jump on the Benny Boot rhyming with words bus. <laughs> you love it, alright. Uh, where's my notes? <laughs> I got this, I got this. First, okay, first up, let's look at the stats of this well-groomed hunk. And then I'm going to chop it and pop it like confetti at the end of this rhyming Whoa. stunt. Chris Martin, 26, posh, middle-class chunk. I'm gonna tear shreds off this gut ya cunt. <laughs> but seriously, ladies, don't you think he's a sexy man? Except he looks like he's just stepped out of, out of a boy band. Except he's actually tone deaf and when he sings, he sounds like an Ewok with a cleft lip. <laughs> Man, 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 that's you doing karaoke. You sound like a fax machine choking. Oh, this is hard. All right. Uh, all right, let's, let's do this second part. Ladies and gentlemen, Chris Martin, he's a bit of a ladies' man. He used to be a, he's, he's a player, he slept with loads of chicks. <laughs> uh, Alright, it gets better. Fucking <laughs> chick, huh? Thanks a lot. He slept, with, he slept with loads of chicks. Every night, a fucking different set of bouncing chick uh, tits. <laughs> and he's illustrating and narrating to me about all his sexual ongoings. Benny, I came in 30 seconds because of early ejaculating. That's got to be like a new record or something. Sometimes I come before I've even stuck it in. He'd already finished telling me that story before I'd started listening. <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen, Chris Martin, my friend, we <laughs> we've actually slept with the same girl named Megan. Except she's now my girlfriend and she told me what he's like in bed. Oh <laughs> Have I gone too far? <laughs> Alright, well get ready for some non-fiction shit. He said, she said it was like fucking a catatonic corpse who was dead. <laughs> and this is how I know you need to get some practice in, yo. Because when we fuck, oh my lord, the noises that come out of Megan's mouth. But when you guys fucked, I didn't know anyone was home in the house. She <laughs> was as silent as a mouse, and then he popped out and went, Benny, new record, 10 seconds, just taking off a blouse. <laughs> I have to be off notes, but um, let's go. <laughs> Before I start with this rhyme, this question beckons. Why are you so proud to be banging my sloppy seconds? <laughs> Where to start with this big, lanky Aussie? Why no Fosters, or as you'd call it, a Fozzie? <laughs> I know it's cheap to have a go at your nationality, as ultimately you're one of us just from a convict family. <laughs> Is it racist to have a go at that? I don't think so, because white on white crime is all right. We all know that. Just to give you context about me and Mr. Benny, he's my landlord, so monthly I give him 8,000 pennies. Why so much when his daddy bought him a 350k house outright? Why does he still need that wedge? Is it because he's tight? Is it because he's obsessed with being rich and clocking G's? Nah, it's because he ain't funny and ain't earning enough from comedy. <laughs> I noticed. <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> 
I know it's living with you, you have learning difficulties and learning difficulties and OCD, but to you, dear dyslexic ass, I guess that's DOC. You have stupid rules like no shoes on the wood floor. It's not a mosque, it's a bloody kitchen, Captain Snore. 34 years old and you skateboard from A to B. Most, mid most midlife crises have enough money for a Harley, but not you. Somehow, you're always skint. You don't have enough to buy a Happy Meal for your barely legal bint. <laughs> you got your house done up, but couldn't afford to get a bathroom door on. I reckon it's because you wanted to see my dick, you perverted moron. <laughs> I laugh every time you borrow my hair wax. When I look up, I guess it's for your back crack or maybe your sack. Let's get physical and applaud your tiny, your tiny hips. They must be surprisingly strong to support those jumbo lips. <laughs> I'm really sorry, I love you. Um, you used to be a pro boxer, that's actually true. So I call you Muhammad Ali. Not because you float like a butterfly, but they've clearly been stung by a bee. <laughs> I hope this, this round, I haven't made you too vexed. Wait till round two when I rhyme about your current bitch, my ex. Where's some of your fucking lyrics, Dan? <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna need you guys as a chorus. I want you to go fucking raucous when I say. When I say Benny Boot, you say whoop whoop, Benny Boot. Whoop whoop, Benny Boot. Whoop whoop, Benny Boot. Whoop whoop. When I say Chris Martin, you say Russell Howard wannabe. <laughs> Chris Martin. Chris Martin wannabe. All right, fucking listen for your cue, because I'm going to drop his name three times soon, all right? Don't forget what you have to say and do. Here we go. Watch it. The word's still in out of my mouth. Get up off the crowd couch. Chris Martin. Chris Martin. <laughs> I don't know my line. Fuck. All right, Chris Martin. Your jokes don't rock. I should know you test them on me at 8 o'clock as soon as I fucking wake up. Oh, I said that wrong, but anyway. Are you guys picking up what I'm putting down? This is one unfunny clown. Chris Martin. Your jokes don't rock, you're better off stepping on stage wearing a pink skirt, twirling in a frock, saying, I'm a little girl, book it! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, uh, the start was funny though, eh? <laughs> All right, here we go. So let me take you by the hand, okay. all right? Because I'm your carer named Anne, all right? And here's my final tip. Wipe your chin, remove that dribble and comedy spit, okay? Button up your beard, put your hands on your hips, you sulky bitch, your jokes are shit. <laughs> Stop worrying about your look and get a comedy for dummies book. <laughs> Let's skip straight to chapter six. Why you ain't been on Russell Howard's Good News Week? <laughs> it's because you got similar physique and technique. You fucking, you ain't unique. You got no personality. You're fucking empty. My diagnosis, Chris Martin. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Even if you sneaked onto the show, it would be a fucking freak show because the audience would shriek in slow-mo. It's a Russell Howard clone. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good book. You can have that, you fucking tribute act. <laughs> Let's get back to the girlfriends. Okay. Um, 
having a girlfriend that young, you should be embarrassed. With that age gap, you're like a Rolf Harris. <laughs> Allegedly, smell my cheese, a line from Alan Partridge, a man you're more f who's going to be more famous than you'll ever be. Your comedy idol is Mitch Hedberg, who OCD'd on drugs. Luckily, he's not alive to listen to your one-liner, duds. he kill himself all over again. Have you heard a joke from you, Mr. Ben? Now, this may sound dirty. It may sound crass. It'll make your bum hole quiver like a dodgy madras. Your girlfriend's a screamer, a bedroom whore. I only know that because I've had her before. I know I came quick. Was done in a flash. But I had to get in and out after I smell her gash. Sorry, I love you. Um, <laughs> your single life antics are a terrible mess. You once three balled a girl with your brother. Dude, that's incest. <laughs> uh, it's true, it's true. She was German, it was in the sea. Um, <laughs> apparently on drugs, you tried to kiss another girl that adored me. What's it about my past conquest that gets you all horny? <laughs> Is it because you secretly want to be me? Benny Boo as seen on TV, really? Pretty sure the only thing you've been on is CCTV. <laughs> Although you could be found watching CBeebies for your next girlfriend, no doubt a baby. <laughs> Get up here, Benny, come on. Come over this way. Let's finish this rhyme looking at a shitty tattoo. I've seen better graffiti in a public loo. <laughs> If I'd spent four bar getting ink, I reckon I'd get something that would make you think, like a quote from Plato or an epithet on the meaning of life. Benny, what did you get? Set up, punchline, pause for laughter. More like shut up, bunch, butt munch, you are a kitty shafter. <laughs> So that was intense, uh, but we'll have to decide the winner. If we can bring you back here, guys. Yeah, hug out, guys, hug out. And love, and love, and respect. So first of all, let's hear it for Chris Martin! <laughs> we made some noise for Benny Boy! <laughs> I think that was Chris Martin, my <laughs> Pop, pop, pop.